is Friday. Beautiful weekend ahead, mm -hmm. so it's screaming for ice cream. Time, time for ice cream. It's time. It's Agreed. time. Yeah, we're bringing in salt and straw once again for another taste test. And starting today, the Portland Scoop Shop offering flavors inspired by your favorite childhood uh, cereals, which I still eat cereal whenever uh -huh. I can. Uh, so this is going to be I sublime. have to say, I think this is my favorite of the limited series that they do all year. This is their Seriously Delicious. Uh, they are back one spoonful promising to instantly transport you down memory lane to those Saturday morning cartoons. I, I love it so much. <laughs> Tyler Malik, co-founder and head ice cream maker from Salt and Straw, is here to, to walk us through this year's batch. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is like pure 90s nostalgia for me. Yes, so exactly. Yeah. exactly. It really is. Watch it some really is. Tunes. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, some Rugrats. Throw on the Rugrats. <laughs> yes. Wow. And it's just, it's such a cereal and ice cream. <laughs> I guess, you know, it makes sense because you usually go cereal yeah. and milk unless mm. there's something wrong with you. But like, you know, it's it just, it's such a good combination, you know? It, it, these yeah. are some great flavors. Okay. Cool. Walk okay, so we're going to taste through these, but I love this idea of really taking that simple cereal, but then elevating it with like this high end pastry skill. Okay. So I hope I show you that a little bit. The first, I really want you to taste, uh, there's like a coffee ice cream there with chocolate ribbons. Uh huh. Mm. Um, and Cocoa, coffee, chocolate. You're speaking this my language. Is so good. This is with off limit cereal, which is this really cool woman founded cereal company, one of the first women founded cereal companies in the entire world. And on top of that, their mascot for this cereal is a female, which is incredible. The first female cereal mascot in the world. Oh my gosh, so this really? Is a really, really cool ice cream for so How many How is there not a female I mascot for cereal? Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you start no. going through the list in your head. You're like, no, 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 no. Adam Crunch, uh, the bunny. Yeah, yeah. wow, oh exactly. that's wild. This is really so good. There are like so ribbons of fudge one. in I know. here. This is a mm. Cocoa Pop cold brew ice cream. So the cool thing about her mm. cereal from Off Limits is that after you eat your cereal, it leaves a cold brew milk in your bowl. Oh. And oh so God. we really try to mimic that. Um, and so like as when you, you have the it, Cocoa it, Puffs it. in your bowl and then you, after you finish yeah. eating it, you, you have to chug milk. it. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. You get that like hit of caffeine and it's like, it's the perfect ice cream. I was gonna so, say adults afternoon treat Pour a little shot exactly. of espresso over yes. a scoop of your ice cream. Yeah, that's good. Like double down. A yeah. avocado esque action. Uh huh. Um, so I love this mm. one. There's a ribbon of fudge th through there, and all of the cereal is speckled in with in chocolate. So, so good. We're off to a good start. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm okay, gonna finish okay. this bite. What's next? <laughs> okay, what's in your blue cup? Um, okay. This one. We got uh, we got like a jelly. I see, is that Marionberry? Oh, yeah. Okay. This is my favorite for a lot of reasons, but it's really this is like the perfect talk uh, way to talk about how we treat the cereal. So we don't just grind up cereal and put it in our ice cream or sprinkle it in. In this case, what we do is we make a cornflake brown butter cookie, and mm. so we take cornflakes and we toast them ever so slightly and grind it up into a flour and fold that into a cornflake brown butter cookie that gets folded in with a little bit of local marionberry jam. Oh um, my goodness. So this one is like the most soul warming in my opinion. Um, that is so good. We, we've had you on for, I don't know how many, you know, different flavor <laughs> tests in, in different segments. This yeah, is yeah. easily in like a top three for me. That is yeah. so, so good. You know, for some reason, you and I, we always taste like the, the bugs ice cream and the turkey ice cream. <laughs> right, case, right. I'm just gonna like take you down comfort comfort lane here. Mm -hmm. This is um, so good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, That's fantastic. That is. And then what's in the middle for in the green cup? Um, in the green, I think it's peanut butter. Oh yeah. Okay. So this one's really, really cool. Um, I, I don't know about you, but we have like a lot of Midwestern here, West Midwesterners here in our salt mm -hmm. and straw company. So mm -hmm. I kind of had to like do a little throwback for them. This is a Scotcheroo cookie. Have you heard of those? No. Oh. They basically, they're, it's like a peanut butter Cheerio version of a Rice Krispie treat. Um, oh, and so you fold uh, Cheerios with peanut butter, a little bit of marshmallow, and you just let it set. And it's so decadent. We combined yeah. it with a little bit of chocolate and oat milk, so it's vegan. Um, and the chocolate kind of like gives you just a little mm. bit of texture. Oh, that's really I love that texture. I'm that's sorry, really, I got, that's, we're, that's we're a bowl cool. off, so the yellow one is the vegan. Oh, well, oh, I, like, I like the green one. I like the texture <laughs> the, of the green the, one. The, also, right, okay, okay, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The green one is snap and crackle. really fun. Mm -hmm. It's a snap and crackle marshmallow treat. It tastes exactly like a marshmallow treat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh. we like, do you remember, okay, this is like, I, every once in a while, like, I'll talk to someone, I'm like, oh, you're a 2000s Chuck. 
baby aren't you I, I, uh, <laughs> but only a few of us remember real uh, rice krispie treat cereal uh-huh mm-hmm. like where it was like it was so good snap crackle pop uh, yeah they, they discontinued it in like 2001 i didn't realize it's like this is like a cherished thing for well, they don't sell the it. cereal anymore it's just the treats they sell rice krispies but not that rice krispie treat cereal yeah, it was in the purple box. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even realize that they stopped yeah. selling that. It was the best. Um, so we tried to like mimic that. And we actually make the, their Florentine cookies, which is this really complicated way of making cookies. It makes, basically makes like a lace cookie. Um, so oh. we make a Florentine cookie with uh, with Rice Krispie treats. And we actually grind up the Rice Krispie treats a little bit for the flour. And it creates this really, really crisp, super buttery Rice Krispie. Oh my God. Uh, That's kind of really crunch. cool. That's so good. Um, if you're a fan of Rice Krispie treats, mm-hmm. this cereal is, mm, okay. So good. We're running I'm, short on time, yeah. but you already oh, you no, talked no, no, about no. the vegan one Finally, we mentioned. It's got peanut butter, like, chocolate, yeah. super good. The very last one, it needs no introduction. The piece um, de resistance. Been doing it for 10 year, years. <laughs> It's uh, for some reason when we launch this, literally one in every four pints that we sell at Salt and Straw will be this flavor. Yes, it's oh my God. golden rainbows. It's um, the most. So it's the most amazing. We bring it back once a year. We hand sort Lucky Charms, which is tedious, and you start to hallucinate <laughs> like after a few hours because you don't know the cereal. Um, but we hand sort it, so we separate the the luck from the charms, um, and we get marshmallows and cereal. We make cereal milk ice cream and then we fold the marshmallows back in. Do a hand sort it? Hand sort them and then it's the cereal milk ice cream. How long does it's that just, take? It's so perfect. It takes a long time. Uh, that <laughs> sounds terrible. I, I mean, it pays <laughs> off. This is incredible. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That Ty- is... Tyler, crazy. has anyone um, officially named you a mad genius yet? Because I think, <laughs> I think we're there. Let's see, just say a lot of people are mad when they have to hand sort cereal. Oh, yeah. it's, like, it's worth it. Oh my gosh! It's so good. You can you can taste the love, the the, yeah. the effort that goes into that. My inner so, child is so happy right now. They're here March. They're on our website and all our shops. On uh, you can buy them online to be delivered to you. And um, please have fun with these. We're also getting ready to open in um, Eugene mm. later this spring yeah. in Cedar Hills in summer. So we're slowly expanding. So I'm excited to bring this to more people. Well, we're, we're excited for you. This is this is an awesome, awesome uh, way it's to such a, good like a little scoop of nostalgia with it. I, I just think it's so mm-hmm. cool. It's very, very well thought out. Just Tyler, to great to see out. you as always. And I'm sure Thank we'll see you. you soon. Yeah, have a great morning. All right, you, you too. too. And Salt and Straw's cereal slee delicious series. Go. Yeah, you nailed it. Uh, <laughs> again, out today at those local scoop shops. You can go to saltandstraw.com to uh, find your latest batch there. Really, oh really gosh. cool idea. My 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 inner child is so happy right now. I know we have cartoons I'm to watch after this on a Saturday morning. I'm finishing all of these in the morning. break. So okay. <laughs>